So Series 1 of Peep Show is noticeably lower budget than the later seasons. It's obvious in the camera quality especially. However, one aspect of the show that has maintained a high quality since the show's inception is the set design. Mark and Jess's flat really feels lived in and real. A big reason for the early seasons feeling especially real is that the show was filmed inside of an actual flat in the actual building shown in the establishing shots. In real life it's called Zodiac House rather than Apollo House though. This means that we don't get any of the typical tropes of shows filmed inside of small apartment sets, like stupidly high ceilings to allow for ease of filming. Now, I was recently listening to the commentary track for the very first episode of the very first series of Peep Show, that includes commentary by David Mitchell, Robert Webb, and writers Sam Bain and Jesse Armstrong, and they brought up a point that I would never noticed in all my rewatchings of the first episode, and well, it's pretty damn clever. Tony's flat is actually the exact same flat as Mark and Jez's. This is Tony's flat, which is in fact shot in the same flat as Mark and Jeremy's flat, but with a window blocked out and everything repainted. Despite their differences in design and layout, both locations are shot in the very same real-life flat. There would obviously be a lot of similarities between Mark's flat and Tony's, seeing as they are neighbours in the block of flats they live in. But to make the sets feel different enough so you don't feel like you're seeing the same flat multiple times, changes were made to keep the settings interesting and unique. In a way that I think is incredibly clever. It's brilliant, isn't it? Through the covering up and blocking of certain aspects of the interiors, as well as only filming from certain angles, the show pulls off this limitation extremely well. So let's go over the two sets, see where the similarities and differences lie, and how exactly they managed to pull this off. Firstly, Here's a pretty rare behind the scenes image of Mark and Jeremy's flat as used by the art department during production. Only three of the rooms of Tony's flat are ever shown, the living room, the kitchen and the big bedroom, aka Mark's room. So let's start with the living room as that's the most used location in both of their flats. So here's the doorway to Tony's living room. As you can see the shape of the room is obviously the same as Mark and Jeremy's but it looks a lot smaller because of the sheer amount of things she has inside of it. Plus her living room has sofas covering three walls which gives an entirely different feel to Mark and Jeremy's where their sofa is as far away from the TV as it could possibly be. Mark and Jess have these huge windows on the right hand side of their room yet in Tony's these have been covered up by walls which makes it feel a lot more cosy and less exposed. I guess you could make some arty point about how Mark and Jez's living room having huge windows is some visualisation for their lives being exposed for everyone to see, but I'm not going to do that. One of the biggest differences here is that Tony does not have the door to the balcony that Mark and Jez have, with her TV being right in the corner there instead. Mark and Jez's balcony isn't used once during the time that Tony is present on the show, and the shot is rarely angled in a way that the recess is able to be seen, but you still notice it's there, so hiding it in Tony's flat makes you think that you're somewhere different. The layout of her kitchen has been changed from Mark and Jez's, as Tony has no units or anything at all on one side of her kitchen, whereas Mark and Jez obviously do. Tony's oven and extra cabinets are instead positioned where Mark and Jeremy's table is, which I think would be nicer. They also made some other changes, like they changed the pattern of the floor, but you can still see how they've stuck to the original design of the kitchen. Like notice how the cupboards still have this angular bit on the corner, like Mark and Jez's, and the little shelf thing behind Mark and Jez's table is preserved, despite being behind the oven now. The bedroom isn't seen as much, but when it is, a lot of it is shot looking directly up. Huh. Though we can see that the built-in wardrobe thing where Jez finds Mark's fantasy figure modeler is identical in both sets, and in fact the mirror remains the same in both sets too. The exact same mirror in the exact same space. The built-in wardrobe staying the same makes sense, as you can't move it and I doubt they'd have wanted to destroy it. However, the mirror is a bit weird. I guess Mark and Tony have similar interior design choices regarding mirrors. So yeah, those are the main structural changes. Obviously the decor was completely changed during the transformation of the flat, but things like the wall colours and stuff were too. In fact, I'm pretty sure the exact same colour is used for both Tony's living room and Jeremy's bedroom, which is kind of interesting. I just really wanted to make it more well known that this is what they did to achieve two separate flat sets, as I'd never really heard that they had done this before until I heard it in the commentary track. It just shows the resourcefulness of the show, which they definitely need to do, given the low budget. And it's just a pretty interesting little bit of production information about Peep Show, which are pretty hard to come by. So yeah, good job set designers.